Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good evening to everybody. And I also would like to say the Happy New Year to all of you. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa. Thank you very much to the organizer and all the and audience who are joining for this evening session. I'm very welcome and very happy and also Happy New Year to all of you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Today we also would like to share to all of you and, uh, how we should practice the method, the way how to practice to Antinibana. It's very important for us to get and understand that after that, when you practice, that will be support for your practice. You know, and we need to see about the uh, following about the, the Buddha teaching. And you also know about three Tipitaka of the Dharma, three Baska of the Dharma are very important from the Sila, Samadhi, Panya, everybody know about that, okay? So we don't explain it, very today. So from there, we also can see the Buddha teaching that the Four Noble Truth in the Dhammachaka, Pavadana, Sutta, everybody knew about that. So where we got this kind of Dharma, then, on because of the Buddha. So the Buddha, as uh, you know already, the quality of the Buddha, the Buddha is really a holy person. So he also has been practicing great compassion in the past so many life, you know, so many lifetimes he has been struggling and also fulfilled by parami perfection for the for the benefit of for the, all the beings, you know, they were Brahma, even then human, oh, we all can learn the Dharma. So he want us to be free from the suffering. That's the purpose. He has been trying so hard with out of compassion. He did practice so many lifetimes, you know, and they, in the end of the life, you can see that, and the, the, the last life in India, huh? So you can see that he was uh, practicing meditation. His story, you know, already, so I don't explain so detail, okay? He was meditating under the body tree in Buddha Gaya, you all know that. So trying so hard, you know, so many years, this year, continuously practicing and trying. Also, although Devika, he didn't get up. But for us, and for the for us, sometimes we see about difficulties. We easily learn to get up. But for the Buddha, and he because he has so much compassion for the people, he tries so hard for us. So and he enlightened, and then the body tree in Buddha Gaya. Then after he became enlightened, then he did then start to preach the Dharma for the five bhikkhus, you know, already in Varanasi, he moved to Varanasi and preaching the Machaka Pavatana Sutta to the, this five bhikkhus, you know. This is the first Dharma talk, okay. In this Sutta, uh, Buddha mainly emphasized about the Four Noble Truth, everybody understood that. So in this, the Four Noble Truth, the truth of the suffering, the origin of the suffering, the way they did the cessation of the suffering, and the, and the cessation of the suffering. So you can see that the Four Noble Truths are very, very important. After listening by the, the Buddha Dhamma, uh, after Dhamma, how the Venera continue was uh, began sort of um, so the first person in an enlightened, you know. So in this way we can see after listening, not only just sort of uh, continue, and also many of the Dewa, Brahma also came down and listening. After listening, they also so many, many of the Brahma and Deva, some are Arahant, some are non returner some are once returner and this sort of like the kind of different level. And many people become enlightened. That is, so that, that is very powerful Dharma from the Buddha, you know. Okay, 
So in this, indeed, the Machaka Partana Sutta, the Buddha also mentioned about the Noble Eightfold Part. Everybody understand about that, okay? In this Noble Eightfold Part, mainly we emphasize Sila, Samadhi, Panya, like just now I did explain. For the lay people, we can practice for five precepts. It's very important, and five precepts and eight precepts. If you can keep it, that is very good. And uh, that kind of purification of our mind, okay? Right speech right action, right liberty, who are very important for us to give it. Then only our mind will get a lot of metta, loving kindness, and also want to kind to the people, don't want to torture people, don't want to kill people. And the kind of mind is beautiful mind. And we can get always a beautiful mind. Every day we train there, and at least five minutes I will give it that. So that is powerful mind. Slowly the mind also stable. Don't get violence and also we can cut slowly at the attachment also we can reduce you know, in this way. Mm -hmm. Keeping our precept is we want to make it the purification of our mind. Our mind is clear by the my precept. So whatever we want to penetrate, easily we can penetrate the mind, we get power also. And then also a lot of metta, that metta power, also the mind becomes very soft and very gentle because you are always like to send metta to the people, to the beings. So that's why we we encourage to the, all the meditator, especially whoever come for the retreat or who stay at home also, and then daily practice also. Very important for us to practice loving kindness meditation early in the morning, in the beginning, ourselves. After that, we're trying to send metta to the, uh, the, the whole family and also your friend, your relatives, and all also, everyone you can, you, know, you don't have boundary. Everybody you can send metta. The more you send, the more you are get peaceful inside, and the more you are get happy in it. Because of that wholesome mind, you know, you are not already metta mind and how pure and how powerful, then the mind has power slowly, and the mind get more and more happy, and a lot of wholesome karma also. So, we encourage all the meditators to base on the giving on the preset, trying to practice metta after we got sovereign or our mind by practice of metta we will start to practice by concentration practice no? After our mind is clear, so in purification of our mind by this, we will start to practice our concentration. For the concentration practice, we, need, we have 40 ways of meditation object. From these 40 ways of meditation object, we can choose one, either one or two. Then you can focus on that, it will be easier. No? And also when you practice about concentration, if the mind is violence, a lot of desire, a lot of anger, and then delusion, and then illusion, and also when the, the sleepy mind occurs, very difficult to get concentration. That's why the mind also needs to be clear. That is very important. That's when the Buddha explained that after you choose about concentration, object for the meditation for a meditation object and so our mind really need to focus on only one object we happy feeling so and the mind we need to control right mindfulness right effort and right concentration so for this right concentration we need the mindfulness and effort need to support to get concentration it's very important step no? for the concentration practice then for the concentration practice, we need to choose. And the Buddha has been explained 40 ways of meditation object for the suitable type of person. Different people have different character based on their, some are greed type of person, some are anger type of person, you know, some are delusion type of person, sadha type of person, thinking type of person, and wisdom type of person. In the human, based on the human, we have six kinds of creators who are based on that. So the Buddha is bringing 40 ways of meditation object, which character is suitable with which meditation object. And sometimes when we meditate, we understand roughly and desire, keep on going, what I want, what I want, many things if you want. And also since childhood until now, we also can come in, we can remember ourselves. Sometimes if you are always like to get a lot of things or you don't have much attachment on the things, that's when greed 
And it, you always want to get something all, all the time. That is a great type of person. Some people, they don't have much desire and they don't have much greed, but easily get angry. A little bit, you get angry, angry, angry type of person like this, you know. Some people don't want to put any effort, always like to sleep and don't want to use, work hard. They're a delusion kind of person. Some are sada. Sada is very strong. They want to do chanting, they want to do dana, going good thing, meditation. I would like to do good thing based on Sada, the faith type of person. Some are thinking type of person. Always like to create it in the mind. Keep on thinking, thinking something. So thinking type of person. Now let's say it's a wisdom kind of person. Always the mind is very bright. When you learn the Dhamma very fast, within short time, you get a concentration. You can learn, you can memorize everything. And also when you meditate very fast, you get progressing. You get a concentration within short time. And you can penetrate inside of our body, can see through our body very fast within short time because of wisdom. And wisdom is past of life. You might have practiced meditation. You might learn the Dharma. That is the cause, you know. The cause and effect. Now in the human life, people are different condition and they different character as well. Different karma produced there. In the past, like you done good karma, a lot of good things. Now in the present, you get a good condition. Condition means you know already many things. You know, long life. You know. Healthy life, range, you know, and also beautiful followers, and good cars, and wisdom. And the kind of good things will arise to you. If you do it in the past, like a lot of killing or breaking the prison, if no good, all the opposite things, you know, short life, and also always sick, and also and non beautiful, non rich, no followers, no, no good cause, you will go reborn in the lower family, and also how much you learn, you can memorize the wisdom in no good, because in the past, like, you had done a lot of um, bad things and bad karma. So now, even in the family, different condition, different people have different brother, even brother and sister. Some are good condition, some are no good condition. Poor, some are rich, some are poor. Why this thing happen? Even the same family, it's because of different people have different karma. In the past, like how they practice, you know? So uh, they, oh, we all believe about that, all the Buddhists believe about karma in this way. So different color, different character, different karma also, okay? But because of that, the Buddha is very in 40 ways of meditation object. When we meditate, desire coming, how we shall cut our attachment, letting go. We want to cut by the practicing about asuba meditation, asuba may contemplate about that body and all. Also, 32 power of body, and when you get an angry time, uh, Brahma Vihara practice Kalankasina. Like this, we try to change the meditation object by the character. In this way, we learn, and the Buddha is ready to practice concentration, and then you get some level, the first jhana to fourth jhana. And actually, like Anapanasati who practice that, you can practice until fourth jhana. By this way, Mindfully, we watch to the meditation object. We don't want to get uh, lazy. We will put more effort on the meditation, right, right effort and to the meditation object. The right mindfulness is right effort support. The mind get happy, very happy for looking at meditation object. You don't want to think other than the mind and the object or the limit, or the object or the meditation. And very fast, you can see the clothes slowly, slowly, happy feeling and concentration arise. You will get limit, then you can do absorption. Then you will be successful for concentration. I want you to meditate every day at home. Please try to practice, okay? We, we need to practice concentration until we get the jhana, okay? After we get the concentration, we will do vipassana. We will practice inside of our body. We will see the nature of our nama and rupa, how they're changing all the time about impermanence, suffering, non about and then in the body as well as the inside and outside. We need to study the mind and matter, you know? The way we practice for the vipassana means because we want to understand the truth. 
And uh, we are now we understand this is my body, my eyes, my ear. We have so much attachment on our body. We have so much attachment to the, our family. We can't let go easily, you know. So after we see inside clearly that the two power body, the nature of Rupa are rising and passing, always impermanent thing happen. Then slowly we understand that oh, this is not mine. This is not my set. This is not my, and then the kind of attachment slowly can let go. So we need to separate part by part. Eyes, they are one place. Ear, they are one place. You know, all the organs you remove and put aside. So then after you separate out all the 32 parts of body, then no more mind. It's not my body, not myself. Slowly we understand that by inside, looking at the inside. You know? So after we understand about the nature, the impermanence, something nonsense on our body because of changing and to the family and in our, all the material thing also. And when we break down the, and the ultimate reality, then slowly you will see the nature. And then after understanding about the mind also the same, come and go, come and go, always changing. Every second you can see that our minds keep on changing, 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 you know. There's kind of impermanence, all our impermanence, you know. After we understand that at the true of the noble, well, the first noble truth, you know, the truth of the suffering, the first noble truth we understand. After we understanding, analyzing, but nama rupa only, the first noble truth can be successful. After understanding what the first noble truth, we still need to practice the second noble truth. We have the four noble truth, okay? The second noble truth are uh, based on the dependent origination. We need to understand the cause and effect of many rivers. The Buddha also encourage for us to practice, who don't practice for dependent origination, and we are not complete practice for the enlightened. That's why everybody also who want to be enlightened, we have to practice the second noble truth. Mm -hmm. So I hope that all of you believe about past life. Everybody have past life. I hope that you, you believe about that. Are you believe? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you remember your past life? <laughs> If you can remember, that would be very good. Because uh, we have been staying in the mother womb nine months, ten months, kind of subconscious mind. So we all broke it, broke it, but can not easy to remember our past life, where you come from, from the heaven or from the human or some uh, from the animal life, different direction. I don't know your past life, okay? So, but anyway, everybody has past life. And then I also know you are a very good life, human life, okay? Human life are not easy to get because in the past, like you had done so many good karma. Then good karma produced that now you can get very good life in a human. No? So we need to believe that eh, in the past, like, I, mean, I had that intention, I want to be a human in nice life, nice river. That Intention, we call the ignorance, okay, with desire, okay, I want to be a man, I want to be a woman, I want to be a dewa, and the kind of understanding, but the Buddha explained it as a wrong view, okay, wrong understanding for attachment for the body, attachment for the river, that's why the Buddha doesn't encourage, the Buddha encourage us to practice anti arahant, not to attach many rivers again, 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 suffering, you know, you come to the human beings, inside the mother wombs. Are you think that's happy? Not easy. When you look at the image, how you live in the mother wombs, after you see, you feel very tired, very, and I don't think so that you are you'll be happy inside, you know. So the kind of image will appear. So the Buddha is very river also suffering, you know. So that's why he didn't encourage for us to go many, many river again and again, you know. That's why the Buddha wants us to understand the truth, why we can get many river again and again because of attachment and also wrong understanding for the river what I want, what kinds of river I want, human, they want the wrong understanding and also attachment and craving. And then because of that, attachment can be nearly die moment, oh I want to be a woman, I want to be a man, and that attachment and cleaning happen. So and then uh, we call them awaja, 
Tanha, Ubadana. So these three are the cause, okay? And ignorance, we can say that craving and cleaning, these three causes, okay? Uh, this is the base in the past life. Because uh, you want good life to the human, you know that we need good karma. So in the past, you also might um, doing good things, dana, sila, bhavana, meditation, because of the cause, the cause and effect, okay? And good and bad are joined together, you know? Attachment on human life and doing good things is beautiful things, dana, sila, bhavana. So these two causes are in the past. Now you can get, because of these two causes, now we can get human life. Now human life, five aggregate are the effect from the past to now, okay? This we need to understand the cause and effect. Why we can get this life? Because we have done good thing. If in the future, if you want a game or a river, Oh, I want to be a human, I want to be a dewa, you might have that thought again. If you had that thought, you have to do again good things, okay? Good karma again. So that's also where cost, present cost, will happen in the future life. You know, the effect will happen in the future. This we can call the cause and if effect for dependent origination, uh, the second of a true. If we can cut attachment after understanding about the truth in our body, there are no more attachment, you know. Then you feel that life is suffering, suffering, so we don't want many kinds of life, you know. Many life we don't want that, so we want to cut our attachment to revert. That's why right. the Buddha is saying the cause and effect for Nama Rupa, dependent origination, also we need to practice all the Nama Rupa are Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta in this way, okay? The, in the end, we don't want any revert. <laughs> then we can be free from the suffering life, we can go to the Nirvana in this way, no? Okay, so the first noble truth and the second noble truth. The second noble truth, you know, only the how to practice dependent origination. And this next time, I will explain to you very detail how to practice, how to look at our past life, how to look at our future life, how to communicate present past, present, and the future. One cycle. This is the cause and effect. This we call dependent origination, okay? After that, in the past, also we had Nama Rupa, the body and the mind. Present, also Nama and Rupa, body and the mind. Future, also we might have, if you have future, sure you will have body and the mind also. And then, if after we see that, we have to do all we personal, all we personal for these three causes, the three kinds of and the body and the mind. After we understand that, uh, we are more understand on the Nama Rupa and we can come more and more attachment. Then the Buddha is saying that the first noble truth and the second noble truth are the object for the Vipassana. So Vipassana, we need to practice again, 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 again. And then no more desire, no more attachment. So in the end, only we can go to the, the sensation of Nibbana, okay? And no more suffering, no more river again, again in this way. Next time, I will explain very detail how to practice, okay? If you are, if you are interested. Huh? Yeah, thank you. Today, I also would like to explain very quickly about how to practice for the concentration because of you having stay at home. At home also you can meditate, you can learn and you can practice every day. You know, so early, either early in the morning or in the evening, you can choose which time, what time is suitable for you. you and then you can choose and you can meditate at home also, okay? We will practice in the beginning, early in the morning when you wake up, you're trying to meditate, metta meditation. Everybody know how to practice metta. So the main thing that our intention, our mind need to focus on our body, Think about it. Just intention, good intention, okay? I don't want to get any danger. Everybody know how to think about that, okay? We think ourselves, may I be free from danger? Slowly, you're trying to think on your body, and again, again, willingly, you're trying to do that. And number two, may I be free from mental suffering? I don't want any uh, unhappy thing in my, my mind, Met, free from mental suffering, okay? Number three, I will be free from physical suffering. I don't want any suffering, any pain, or any disease, anything 
cause an illness in my body. I don't want, okay? I want to be happy and healthy in this way. You can send again and again metta to yourself in the morning and then you feel relaxed and peaceful. Then after that, just now I did explain that other people also you can do. After a while, you can start to meditate Anapanasati. Anapanasati is concentrate on the breathing. In breath and out breath, in breath, out breath, our mind know already where the breath comes from. We know around in the nostril. So our mind will focus on the nostril and try to feel in breath, out breath. In breath, out. don't push too hard. Just relax and breathe very softly. Then you will get the natural breathing. So we need natural breathing. So we're trying to breathe slowly with happy feeling. Then after that, you will be used to it. Eh? No? When you constrain on the breathing, this is very important that we need to know the first thing in the breath. In breath, our breath needs to be clear. After you get a clear breath, you know that there is an in breath, there is our breath. The mind always needs to contact with the breath, always need to watch. Don't forget about the breath. In the mind, we always keep on remember of the breathing, in breath and out breath. Now I really can understand, now I really can feel the breath movement. Sometimes you will feel about the time is very long time on the breathing. You just notice also either long breath, okay, long breath in or long breath out. Duration on the time also. You might feel the breath become very soft and you duration on the time you know and notice that long breath in or long breath short. And sometimes and then and, 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 and okay, so that sometimes the breath movement is very fast and then also duration on the time is short, you just notice the short breath in and short breath out like this way. So we're just trying to think about long breath or short breath, also we can practice in this way. But some people they don't want to practice about long or short breath, they just want to awareness in our breathing only. In the nose, you can feel with the breath movement, in breath, out breath. That's one also okay. So both way we can try. The first thing is only awareness of in out breathing. If cannot, and you also if you want to try, long breath, short breath, the whole breath, and the center breath. The method also we can try. So both from both way you can choose either one. No? When you know about the breathing in and out in the nostril, our mind also we can penetrate upon because our mind want to stay with the breath in the nostril area. So our mind don't want to follow in with the breath inside of the body. So when you breathe in, please don't use your deep breath. If you do that, the mind like to follow you with the breath inside of the body, to the chest or abdomen. If you follow you with deep breath like that, you have a vibration in your chest or abdomen. If our mind is focused on abdomen, so we will lose the breath in the nostril. We don't be in the nose. That's why we don't encourage meditation to watch inside of the body the breath movement or out of the body. So we don't follow it. Our mind will watch around in the nostril only. That's why how we can cut our mind along in the nostril so we are trying to feed the breath after for a while you will get touching area touching on the skin along in the nostril some people will feel one side of the nostril some will feel both sides of the nostril then come and touch on your skin in the nose you know so that area we can say the touching area then from that touching area not only focus on the skin also okay if you only focus on the skin the muscle will move in vibration or Hot and cold sensation can be happen. There is if you concentrate on that sensation, hot and cold, the mind will go into the, the four elements meditation. That's why we have to be very careful when we watch the breath. After we feel the breath movement, the mind will concentrate the breath on the in breath and out breath. In breath and out breath from that touching area, watching the breath like the gatekeeper, you know. Then only then the sensation will not disturb you. You will feel more flowing of the breath and then you will feel comfortable without hot and cold or vibration. No? In this way we can try. No? 
After that, you will feel the flowing of the breath, in breath and out breath in the nose. So the mind just contact with the breath like the wave. You will feel comfortably. The breath becomes very soft and very gentle. Any wandering come in, don't follow it. Please stop. The mind always need to come back to the breath. Okay, always trying to remember in breath and out breath, in breath, out breath continuously. In the end, no more wandering, not not to get wandering, and then slowly, slowly, five hundreds also cut off. The mind and the breath together, you will feel slowly happy. You will get slowly concentration, and then from there concentration, the mind will start to get happy, and the body also very light and very comfortable. Then after for a while, you will get the bright in the mind. After for a while, you also will see in front of you the color will be appear. That color appear. Don't worry. You don't. Some people got worry, but the bright light appear. Why is going on? You might get that because of your concentration mind. The light produced. That is the sign of concentration. So any color appear. Don't worry. Don't go open your eye and don't go and look to the light. Just keep it with the breath, the mind. Continues with the breathing. In the end, the color will keep on changing, and the qualifying limit will happen. The bright light become like bright star, like they will change. After that, automatically will come a star in front of the nose. So we need to concentrate our mind to the breathing, and then that limit of bright light is totally stable for a while. After for a while, only if stable, we can concentrate to the bright light for one hour or one and a half hour. Then slowly we can go absorption, can enter to the jhana, because you concentrate on the limit. I want to encourage all of you to practice continuously every day at home, early in the morning or evening. If you can meditate, that will be very good every day. Okay. So next time when you get the limit or if you can practice that, I will be very happy. Uh, any problems or difficulty in meditation, I will try my best to do Zoom session. And I will try to explain. Okay. Thank you very much. So next time you can practice the four noble truth will be very good. After practicing, we can and we can be successful to be in the enlightened area. Can be area like Sotapan, Sagraga, like this. We can practice in this only the way that we can go by to Nirvana by the four noble truth and the noble equal part. You know, by this way of practice. You know? And also, I would like to welcome to all of you to Myanmar and Brahma Vihari Meditation Center. If all the conditions good, please come and meditate there. One day, one hour is not enough for the area. Okay, we need longer meditation and long sitting. That will be very good. You no, know? I want to welcome to all of you. Invite you to Myanmar next time. Okay, for the meditation. And also, I have been to many different places, to many different countries since nearly thirty years now. Travel a lot, so when I have time, I went to India also. When meditate under the Bodhi tree, this is the best place for meditation. I felt very, very happy, very peaceful. You are in, in India. Very good opportunity to practice under the body tree. You know, we want to meditate so much. You know, so in the future, in my mind, I had the idea. Next time, I want to meditate again under the body tree. Last time, we meditate the whole night, the whole night overnight. We meditate so peaceful, and then it's you are very lucky. You know, I want to encourage all of you. If you are okay, please go and visit to. And the, the Buddha Gaya, and meditate under the Bodhi tree. Not only short time, okay, a bit longer time. You will get deep concentration there, very fast, because of the as holy place, and the energy from the Bodhi tree is so good, very very good. This is from our experience, the the best place for meditation. Actually, it midnight better. <laughs> At the beginning, earlier part of night, a bit noisy, chanting, and people walking around. Difficult to get concentration. If you really want to get deep concentration, midnight, midnight, the best time. Okay, go and meditate there. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good, Devi. Mm -hmm.
Thank you very much for organizing. And I'm very, very happy to see all of you. And in the New Year time, we can, uh, we can you know, share the Dharma. And also, I can see all of you are interested in the Dharma. Very, very happy. Huh? So the Happy New Year for all of you. Please take care, everybody, OK? In the future, maybe we can see again. We can discuss again like this, OK? Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of all editors, I express my gratitude for your precious time uh, and uh, for all meditators who are joining in morning session, around 280 people uh, meditates every day uh, for one month and this is our 15th meditation sen uh, session ex uh, end today. So we ask for blessings. Thank you very much. So, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. May all of you be free from dangers, free from mental suffering, free from physical suffering. May all of you be well and happy and attend to the Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Please take care, everybody. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much. We have the question and answer session. Next question is how to deal with anxieties about uncertainties of future? Uh, future, uh, okay, that's also we need to prepare that. Just now I did explain that dependent origination, the karma, okay. If we want to get, no need to worry, we need to understand that the cause and effect. So if we want good future, if we want to get, even the this life also, if we want to get good future, maybe uh, you want to get good, good job or good relationship with people, also, we need to practice now, okay? The present is very important for the future. So don't worry too much, don't push too hard, you know? Sometimes we want to make it perfect, you know? We want everything that must be at the best. There's also a lot of pressure, okay? A lot of pressure on ourselves. What we want, we can get okay. What we want, if we cannot get, we give a lot of pressure and a lot of unhappy things, and a lot of uh, depression also can be happen, you know. That's why we just need to learn more Dharma, and also trying to understand that I will try my best, you know. Of course, of course we need good intention and good future. Everyone, want, okay, there's our expectation, but we will try our best, then prepare and try. And uh, we want good future, and we don't try, and we are lazy, also cannot, okay? We still need to try now. If you are okay, you will be successful. So you just follow in this way. And sometimes the condition is not right. What you want, you cannot get. Don't get upset. Don't get anxiety, you know? So you just try to relax and make it with oil. There is a nature also, you know? Just think that what we want cannot be happen. That is also show you that the Dharma. So there is way we also try to relax and learn more Dharma, practice more meditation, make a peaceful mind. You try your best, you know. You just need, but anyway, you need to try if you want good future. And present is important. Don't worry about the past. The past, what we have done, what happened, and everything all have to let go. But pure for the future, mindfully, and we, we have to concentrate present moment to be at the best. The only way future will be better, you know, and not nothing happen. Just relax and think about impermanence, you know. Thank you, Terry. Third question is how to keep mindfulness in everyday life as a lay person. Okay, a lay person still need to stay with the family and still need to work, you know, you need to associate with uh, many people. So just now I still that mention there. So the mindfulness is, uh, of course, so we um, know you are fat. Sometimes we have a lot of greed, anger, delusion, because of many lifetimes we have based on the kind of the mind. So. Although we want to try the best, we want to be a very holy person, we want to do, but the nature of our desire, sometimes you see that you want to get again, greed easily can happen. 
anger, angry also can happen easily. And the kind of mind is happen, we need to remember that the kind of mind is no good for our present, no good for our mind, karma, and also no good for our body. When we get angry, and our body also gets sick easily, you know, that kind of effect will happen. That's why we need to understand first if we kind of unhappy thing happen and no good for us. So we try to be a good, we're trying to practice more and more to get a more wholesome. That's why we have to get our mind, the mindfulness to get and before we communicate with people early in the morning, we will send more meta, we will make it fully meta in our heart. Then after that only we will contact with family because of your inside have mindfulness and you don't want to make we don't want to make it any unwholesome. So we will be more careful, think about people with positive. Don't think about negative or don't look at the people mistake like this, you know. And then also, uh, we, we also need to control our speech, don't talk too much, you know. And not related, no good, no good, uh, no good beneficial for the people, and we don't talk, okay. For the beneficial of the people, we will talk and nicely like this way. And action also important, so that the Buddha always encourage that because we still need to associate with many people. So when you associate with people, mindfully think, carefully think before you contact, okay? And mindfully talk with mindfulness and also speech. And all related with metta and good intention to the people, then will be better. So we have to, uh, before we, we move and communication, we have to take care of our mind all the time to be beautiful. That will be better, you know? Then that is the whole, I mean, you see for people or your working time also, that will be more successful. Successful and you will get more peaceful and you can control more. And when you are because of the kind of beautiful mind you are training, and then so you be, they become your character. Your character also very good. And then the kind of people, good person, we can hook it the preset, we get good person. Because of that good mind and good correct her. when you want to meditate very easily that mindfulness will support for us within short time we can get concentration no? okay yeah. very well explained theory next question is how to observe sila in three levels Sila, okay, Sila is sometimes we want to keep the five precepts. Three level is mainly like a body setter, okay? For the normal people, okay, we know that when we keep the precepts, we we'll get the, you know, purification of our mind, you know, the, the kind of belief we have there. So, okay, today I want to keep five precepts for the normal people. Okay, we will try. But sometimes, oh, even and like a preset is Okay, I want to get a preset, okay? So, but today I will try. In the beginning, you are very happy to do that. Then, but in the afternoon or evening, you will get hungry. So, when you get hungry, easy. Oh, never mind. Today, I don't want to keep no preset. And uh, I will eat. And the next day, only I will try. So, easily can break, you know? But for the people, normal people, easily can break. But for the body sata, they will keep like a big cook, okay? Okay, three levels mean for the normal people easily. What we want to break easily can break. You don't control it not much, you know. But for the big who, uh, they want to break also. They have to be careful. Oh, I have winning, uh, you know, because I'm ordained. After ordination, we had to follow the rules. And because of that rules, so they are more careful, not easy to break. That is the medium part, okay? Uh, but like a body setter, uh, but, but even the big cook also sometimes can break. That's why not your perfect your preset, okay? Second level. But the, for the body setter, our body setter, if you keep the preset the highest practice, okay? Uh, even can give his life, his life. People kill him also, and he will keep the preset. He don't want to break his preset. He will try very, very hard to keep the preset. Not easy to break, don't want to break it that easily. Like this way, we can see the highest 
even he can keep it away his life, you know, but he don't want to break his precept like this, you know, the highest practice for the body center. So for the normal lay people, easy can break. But the monks and now they have to keep, you know, and the second level. The third one is like a body center. He will keep until very, very perfect. Never break like this. Even he die also never mind. He was trying to get the preset like this. That because of that, his barmy is very good. Not only the profession of the dana, sila, bhavana, all the same. He has been trying so hard, not like a normal people. That's why his barmy is um, um, better than us, <laughs> better than others, you know. The next question is, it is necessary to experience nimitta for liberation. Oh, okay. So we don't, uh, no, we, I cannot say that not necessary, but, but uh, some people uh, really need concentration. For the uh, for their concentration, the nimitta also important in this 40 ways of meditation object. Uh, some people are uh, Western kind of person, like Venerable Sariputra and Moglana, when although they also had nimitta when the first time or they meditated the skeleton object, you know, the skeleton object they saw, after that they got their wisdom arise. There's also kind of nimitta. Because of the kind of nimitta and the sign, his mind was totally uh, awaken up, you know, so there is a, oh, we also had that. This also kind of limit for the skeleton meditation. Uh, but the some also without limit, they had a, because of parami, after listening to the matter, they also could attend enlightened. So we are very difficult to say that some people are okay, they need nimitta, that some are without nimitta also can enter uh, to the nibbana. Okay, so most, most of the people for the concentration practice, we really need the nimitta, okay, for the absorption. Huh? Thank you. Please explain about one of the obstacles for Sutta Panna, Siddhavatta Paramatta. Sota Pana, after enlightenment, after you attend for the first level or the, the area, like a Sota Pana, Sota Pana never break the five reset. Automatically, when I say five reset, never break. If you can check that they are already Sota Pana or not, someone say that he is also Sota Pana or the, and the person is still breaking for the five reset, but they are not Sota Pana at all. Sota Pana are really safe already, really keep the five percent that is automatic. <laughs> Understand, huh? yeah, yes. uh, I am getting calm in breathing, but what's next step? Oh, okay. Because of concentration, when in the beginning you might have the breathing, after you get a concentration, concentration means you really like it, this object. You feel the mind has comfortable with this breathing object, you will start to feel happy feeling in the beginning. After you get happy, you will always like to stay with the breathing, don't want to depart, don't want to move. There is a sign of concentration also. The time, only one thing that the mind don't follow with peaceful feeling too much much on the body because when you get a concentration the body get lighter and lighter the mind get happier so many meditators like to follow in their sensation of peaceful and joyful feeling they will let go of the breath if they let go of the breath not easy to get the nimitta there is branch for concentration that's why we have to tell the meditator although you get a peaceful or happy feeling arise don't stop and don't stay with the sensation in the body the mind still need to focus on the breathing, continuously trying to feed the breath, don't let go of the breath. Even sometimes the breath disappears, cannot be. You try to breathe again slightly, slowly, you know, don't push too hard. Softly, you try to breathe, you get a certain breath, and you combine the mind and the breath must be together all the time. And you can do that continuously. After for a while, you will get the nimitta. The prakala will appear within a short time. That's why I want to encourage that when you get calm and peaceful, don't stay with that sensation. The mind still need to search the breath, still need to work with the breath together. After that, only you will get the qualified nimitta. If not, you fall in with that sensation, never get the nimitta again. That's why it's very difficult to go for the jhana. No? Thank you, Theory. 
last question I'm asking. I don't know whether should I ask or not. How? No, no. Okay, we will try our best to answer. Yeah. How is the feeling when reaches Nibbana? How many people achieve it? It. I know. Difficult <laughs> to say. <laughs> Difficult to answer this question. You know. Yeah. Because the, and yeah, <laughs> the time of the Buddha, so many people in Sawati, you know, so many people enlightened, you know, so when they get a, they try so hard and they practice, many people, even lay people, many lay people are uh, Sotabang, Sagaraga, like this. But nowadays, quite difficult to tell and it's quite difficult to find very little, you know. So, but anyway, we and uh, if you really want to know, I want you, I want uh, who is asking question. I want you to meditate. <laughs> After you meditate, you will get more experience, so you will be successful. Okay, so then you will understand how difficult to get that <laughs> the enlightened to be enlightened. No, so but who have parami, they can practice. Yeah, we had the method already, I did explain that. And you can practice what that four number two uh, very fast. If you give time to go for meditation and you really follow the instruction, four number two, sure you will be successful. You can enter sort of very easy, you no? Know? But we just need to let go of only many things, you no? Know? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Thank you very much for organizing and I'm very, very happy to see all of you and in the new year time we can, uh, we can you know, share the Dharma and also I can see all of you are interested in the Dharma. Very, very happy. Huh? So the happy new year for all of you. Please take care everybody, okay? In the future, maybe we can see again, we can discuss again like this, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of all editors, I express my gratitude for your precious time uh, and uh, for all meditators who are joining in morning session around 280 people uh, meditates every day uh, for one month and this is our 15th meditation session ex uh, end today. So we ask for blessings. Thank you very much. So, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. May all of you be free from dangers, free from mental suffering, free from physical suffering. May all of you be well and happy and attend to the Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Please take care, everybody. Yeah? <laughs> sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you.